Have you ever wondered how medieval people stayed warm without electricity or modern heating? These smart folks invented heating systems, so clever that they could keep rooms warm for days using just one fire. Today I'm sharing 10 genius medieval heating tricks that beat modern technology. Stone heat battery medieval people created the world's first heat battery using granite stones. They would light a fire under a pile of huge stones, let it burn out, then open vents in the floor. The heated stones released warm air for days without needing more fuel. One firing could keep a room cozy for an entire week. Modern heaters can't do this. They need constant power. This stone battery system was like having a medieval thermostat that worked better than electric heating. Underground, heating Spanish villages still use an ancient heating system called Gloria that runs under house floors. They built tunnels under the ground, lit a fire in an outdoor box, and warm air traveled through the tunnels to heat every room. The clever part was using waste materials like pine needles and leaves instead of expensive wood. Modern central heating costs hundreds per month, but this system used free materials that people would normally throw away. Some Spanish houses today still heat this way and pay nothing for winter warmth. Community warming rooms medieval monasteries built giant warming houses with massive double fireplaces that stayed lit from November to Easter. These rooms could hold dozens of people and provided community heating when individual homes were too cold. The thick stone walls stored heat during the day and released it slowly at night. Monks would gather here to stay warm, do work, and socialize during brutal winters. Modern apartment buildings try to copy this with community rooms, but they use expensive electric heating instead of efficient wood fires. The medieval version was actually more energy efficient because the huge thermal mass of stone walls kept releasing heat for hours after the fires died down. Something modern heating can't match. Clay heat, radiators, German. Craftsmen invented ceramic tile stoves that worked like giant heat radiators. They stuck clay pots inside the stove walls to create more surface area for heat to escape. This meant more warmth from the same amount of wood. The clay held heat much longer than metal, so rooms stayed warm even after the fire went out. Modern radiators are made of metal that cools down quickly when the heat stops, but these clay systems kept radiating warmth for hours. The tiles were often decorated with beautiful patterns, making them both functional heating and artistic decoration. Wealthy families would commission custom tile designs that matched their home decor. Some of these stoves were so well built that examples from the 1400s still exist today and could still heat a room if restored properly. Wall fire systems, the 12th century invention of wall integrated fireplaces changed everything about home heating. Instead of having smoky fires in the middle of rooms, smart builders figured out how to put fires inside thick stone walls with chimneys to carry smoke outside. This was revolutionary because it meant you could have clean, warm air without breathing. Smoke. The fireplace heated both the room and the stone wall behind it, which acted like a giant heat battery. Modern fireplaces are mostly decorative and waste most of their heat up the chimney, but medieval ones were designed for maximum efficiency. The stone walls would absorb heat during the day and release it slowly all night, providing consistent warmth. Some castle fireplaces were so large you could literally walk inside them, and they heated enormous halls that would cost thousands to heat today with electric systems. The engineering was so advanced that many 800-year-old fireplaces still work perfectly today. Hot rock, warmers long before electric blankets, medieval people heated smooth stones in fires and used them as personal heating devices. These hot stones could keep you warm all night without any electricity or batteries. They wrapped the heated stones in cloth and placed them in beds, carriages, and even church pews during long winter services. The stones stayed warm for six to eight hours, much longer than modern hot water bottles. Rich people had servants whose job was just to keep a supply of hot stones ready at all times. Poor families heated stones in their cooking fires and used them to warm their beds before sleeping. Modern electric blankets use lots of electricity and can be dangerous if they malfunction but hot stones were completely safe and free after the initial heating. Some stones were carved with decorative patterns or fitted with metal handles for easy carrying. Traveling merchants and soldiers carried personal heating stones on long winter journeys, making them the world's first portable heating devices. The system was so effective that some northern European countries used heated stones in carriages and sleighs 
until the 1800s, long after other heating methods were available. Animal heat-sharing medieval families built their houses right next to where they kept animals using shared body heat to stay warm during freezing winters. This wasn't just putting animals inside, it was smart architectural planning that used natural heat sources. Cows, horses, pigs, and sheep generate lots of body heat, and clever builders designed homes to capture this free heating. The animals lived in attached areas or directly below human living spaces, and their body heat rose up through the floors to warm the family rooms above. Modern heating costs hundreds of dollars per month, but this system was completely free. Once you had animals, even today, unheated barns stay much warmer than outside temperature because of animal heat, proving this system works. Some medieval homes had removable floor sections, so human heat could mix with animal heat during the coldest nights. Families would also sleep together in shared beds to combine body heat, something that would seem strange today but was incredibly practical. Modern central heating systems try to heat entire houses whether rooms are being used or not, wasting huge amounts of energy. Medieval people only heated the spaces they were actually using, making their systems much more efficient than modern. Wasteful heating that runs constantly whether anyone is home or not. Mobile heat boxes, medieval people. Invented portable heating with braziers. Metal boxes on legs filled with burning charcoal that could be moved anywhere. These were like medieval space heaters that didn't need electricity or gas lines. Rich families had servants carry them from room to room, and some even had wheels for easy transport and royal events. Special braziers on wheels were positioned near important guests to keep them warm during long ceremonies. Modern portable heaters are expensive to run and dangerous if they tip over. But medieval braziers were stable. The really clever part was that different rooms could be heated only when needed, saving fuel and money. Some braziers were built into furniture, like tables, creating the world's first heated furniture. Spanish families used special tables with braziers underneath and blankets on top, so everyone could keep their legs warm while sitting together. This social heating brought families closer together during cold months, something modern individual heating systems don't do. Many cultures still use versions of this system because it works so well. Bed warming, pans, medieval people invented copper warming pans filled with hot coals that could preheat beds and provide all-night warmth without electricity. These metal Pans had long wooden handles, so you could safely move hot coals between bedsheets without getting burned. The copper held heat much longer than modern materials, keeping beds warm for hours after the coals died down. By Queen Elizabeth I's time, these warming pans were common in wealthy homes, and even some middle-class families owned them. Modern electric blankets cost money to run every night and can be fire hazards if they malfunction, but warming pans? were safer and used fuel that was already being burned for cooking. The pans had holes in the lids to let just enough air in to keep the coals glowing slowly throughout the night. Some warming pans were beautifully decorated with family crests or religious symbols, making them both functional heating devices and status symbols. Servants would prepare multiple pans for large households, ensuring every bed was warm before family members went to sleep. The system was so effective that warming pans continued to be used well into the 1800s, even after other heating methods became available. Poor families made simple versions using metal pots with tight-fitting lids, proving the concept worked at every economic level. Modern hotels try to provide similar comfort with electric bed warmers, but they can't match the all-night warmth of a properly used warming pan. Room dash by room Control medieval heating systems allowed precise control of individual room temperatures, something modern central heating struggles to do efficiently. Instead of heating entire buildings to the same temperature, medieval people could make each room exactly as warm as needed for its specific use. Bedrooms might be kept cool for sleeping, while work areas were heated more for comfort during tasks. This zone heating was incredibly advanced and saved enormous amounts of fuel compared to modern systems that heat empty rooms. Kitchen areas near cooking fires stayed naturally warm, so additional heating wasn't needed there. Storage rooms could be kept cool to preserve food, while living areas had multiple heating sources for comfort. Guest rooms were only heated when visitors arrived, rather than maintaining constant temperature like modern systems do wastefully.
The really genius part was that heat sources could be adjusted based on outside weather, occupancy, and time of day. Modern smart thermostats try to achieve this same control. But they still waste energy heating entire buildings through ductwork and pipes. Medieval systems delivered heat directly where it was needed without losing energy through distribution. Systems. Rich families had servants who managed heating throughout the day, adjusting fires and moving portable heaters as needed. This personal heat management was more responsive and efficient than any automated system today. The flexibility meant that fuel costs could be controlled precisely if money was tight, only essential rooms were heated. Modern heating bills are fixed costs whether you use heat efficiently or not, but medieval systems allowed families to spend exactly what they could afford on heating. Tapestry insulation. Walls medieval people turned their walls into smart insulation systems, using thick woven tapestries that worked better than modern wall insulation. These heavy fabric hangings weren't just decoration. They created air pockets between the wall and the room that trapped warm air and stopped cold drafts. Castle walls were thick stone that absorbed cold from outside, but tapestries created a thermal barrier that modern drywall can't match. Rich families had tapestries custom-made for specific rooms, with different thickness for different seasons. Winter tapestries were made with wool backing that provided extra insulation, while summer ones were lighter linen. The genius part was that tapestries could be moved between rooms as needed or taken down completely in warm weather. Modern homes have fixed insulation that works the same year round, but medieval tapestries adjusted to seasonal needs. Some tapestries had multiple layers with trapped air spaces, creating better insulation than modern foam boards. The system was so effective that medieval rooms with tapestries stayed comfortable even when outside walls were covered in frost. Shared body, heat. Sleeping medieval families perfected the art of shared sleeping arrangements that generated free heating through combined body heat, something modern people avoid, but that was incredibly effective for winter survival. Large families would sleep together in giant beds with children in the middle and adults on the outside for protection and warmth distribution. The human body generates about 100 watts of heat, so a family of six created 600 watts of heating. Power just by sleeping together, modern space heaters use 1500 watts of electricity and cost money to run all night, while family sleeping was completely free. Medieval beds were built extra wide and strong to hold multiple people with thick straw mattresses that provided insulation from cold floors some beds had curtains around them to trap body heat even more effectively. Peasant families often included extended relatives and even guests in shared sleeping arrangements during the coldest months. The system worked so well that some northern European families continued group sleeping until the 1800s, only stopping when individual heating became affordable and social customs changed. CIOMP RSOI modern heating systems are expensive failures compared to medieval genius. Today's central heating costs $200 to $500 monthly, heats empty rooms wastefully, breaks down regularly, requiring costly repairs, and uses fossil fuels that harm the environment. Medieval systems cost nothing after initial setup. Heated only spaces being used lasted for centuries without maintenance, and used renewable materials like wood and stones. Modern electric heaters use 1500 watts per hour while Medieval hot stones provided eight hours of warmth from one heating. Today's smart thermostats try to copy medieval. Zone heating but still waste. Energy through ducts and pipes that medieval direct heating avoided completely. These medieval heating innovations prove our ancestors were engineering geniuses who created free, efficient warming systems using nothing but natural materials and clever design. While we spend thousands yearly on gas and electric bills that waste energy, heating empty rooms and running constantly whether anyone's home or not. And the most amazing part is that many of these ancient methods actually provided more consistent, controllable, and comfortable heat than modern central heating systems that pump expensive energy through leaky ducts and pipes. So you could start experimenting with medieval-inspired heating ideas like hot stone warmers, portable braziers, or shared sleeping arrangements to see how much money you could save. And modern engineers studying these forgotten techniques report discovering heating solutions that reduce energy costs by 70% while providing better comfort, 
which means our ancestors weren't primitive at all, but were actually smarter than us in many ways. So don't let expensive heating bills drain your bank account when centuries of proven heating wisdom could revolutionize your home comfort and save you thousands of dollars every winter.